If you could make your voice sound like this, why would you ever want it to sound like this? That's, you know, that's a really good question. And I'm afraid there's no good answer to that. So let me show you how to make it sound good. Let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now these settings will apply to Adobe Audition as well. Step one, you need an audio recording, obviously. Get ready for the inception. Step one, you need an audio recording. So that's how it sounds before. Let's go ahead and make our changes. Let's go to the effects control panel, search for parametric equalizer, and let's apply that to our audio clip. I am gonna apply this to the clip twice, and you'll see why later. Now let's look for de -esser. Apply that to the clip. We also need denoise. Apply that. We also need a single band compressor. Apply that. Let's search for the amplify effect as well. Apply that. And finally, use the hard limiter and apply that. Now I'm gonna walk through what each of these do. So you wanna come up to your effect controls panel and let's start with the first parametric equalizer. We will click on edit. And the first thing we wanna do is bring the mid tones down. So come to the three, which is along the 800 mark and drag this down to about negative 70. Then we want to reduce the high frequencies. So we will grab the H and drag that down to about negative 30 and make sure it's lined up with the 10K mark. Great, now we can close that and let's go to our second parametric equalizer. For this one, we will click on edit and we will choose the preset vocal enhancer. This will make our voice sound much thicker. So we'll apply that. Next, we will do the de -esser, and we will come into edit and we will just change the threshold to negative 40. And that is it. Come to denoise and we will select light noise reduction. Now from my mic, I don't have a lot of noise that comes through. So I'm just gonna drop the amount to five, but adjust this based on your mic. Now close this. Now let's work on the single band compressor, click edit. Now you can change the following settings based on what sounds good with your audio, but these are what I use. Threshold, negative 20. Ratio, I like four to one. Attack on five. Keep the release at 100. And then output gain on two. Close that. And so at this point, we are going from this. Step one, you need an audio recording. To this. Step one, you need an audio recording. So there's a lot more bass, a lot more control in the voice. And now we can select the amplify. This is completely up to you. Depends on how loud your mic is, but I like to set amplify to plus six. Step one, you need an audio recording. And this just brings it to the audio levels that I like to have for my videos. And finally, we will click edit on the hard limiter. I like to set my maximum amplitude to negative four, which means nothing will go above negative four dB. So if I'm talking really loud or something clips, it still won't go above negative four, which basically saves your viewers from going deaf. You're welcome. Now I have input boost on negative one, and then I keep these same default settings for the rest zero input boost, seven look ahead time, and 100 release time. Close out of that, and we have our final product. Step one, you need an audio recording. And before, step one, you need an audio recording. And finally, you wanna make sure that you save this so that you can use it in future videos. So let's come over to our effect controls panel again, and let's select all of these by clicking on them, and then we will right click, save preset. Now you just make a name, vocal preset, click, okay or hit enter and then come over to your effects control panel and under presets you will see your vocal preset so that's it once you've done it once you can apply it to all of your future videos and it's very very easy and makes your voice sound a lot more professional if this video helped you out make sure to let me know down in the comments and if there's anything you would change also let me know i'm always looking to improve what i'm doing right now and like i said these same effects are in adobe audition as well so if you do your audio editing in there you can just apply the same settings i just did thanks for watching if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one